So, you want to bag your Mazda 2 Sky Active. Hello and welcome to a new video and today it's a different setting. This is actually in our new shop here in Makati and we are trying to renovate the place pa. As you can see, my backdrop is still, you know, incomplete. I, you can even see a car up there. So ngayon, enough of that. Welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, sorry if I'm gonna be rusty on this video. It's been too long since I shot my last catalog video. And today we have another Mazda unit. The last episode would be the Mazda 3 hatchback. And now we have a Mazda 2 hatchback in the video. Nga pala, this video will be compatible or cross-compatible with the Ford Fiesta because this is actually a shared platform by Ford and Mazda. Different engine lang and body styles and interior, but the chassis itself and suspensions are cross-compatible, meaning you can buy Ford Fiesta parts for your Mazda 2, Ford Focus parts for your Mazda 3. So that is something you need to note. But hey, the video is all about the Mazda 2 and this is it. We have a Mazda 2 on the floor ngayon. On this video, you'll probably be able to learn about how to bag your Mazda 2. We're gonna show you the front suspension, rear suspension of the car, where we put the system, and we're probably gonna be including a quick discussion about the wheel well and the fitment of this car, okay? We're gonna address some things. And for that, to follow through, I need your attention. Lend me your ears, but before all of that, please subscribe to the channel and like and hit like and share the video. Hit the bell icon for the notification. Lend me your ears as things will get technical and educational. And for now, let's move on to the under chassis part of this video and I'll see you there in a bit. Hello and welcome to the front suspension of the Mazda 2 Sky Active. This video will be cross-compatible for the Ford Fiesta. Since Mazda and Ford does a shared chassis for the Fiesta and the Mazda 2 and the Ford Focus and the Mazda 3. So if you have those cars, stick around, you'll learn something from this video. So right in front of us is a coilover conversion on K-Sport. We converted the K-Sport into air springs, as you can see. This is our airbag and this is our iconic uh, orange lock rings ng K-Sport coilovers. We use K-Sport coilovers because they are the most comfortable for street use. And they have 36 adjustments. Some other coilovers are a bit stiff, but totally depends on clients preference and of course availability ng coilovers. The reason why the client went for coilovers is because yung stock suspension na the stock suspension is already dead, the dampers are done, gone na siya. So it's needed for replacement. So the client went for a K-Sport conversion, K-Sport coilovers and then we converted it. That is the introduction for this car. And then this is a what we call a McPherson type strut. McPherson type struts as every video that I tell you they are actually a rotating assembly. The whole shock assembly rotates with the steering wheel on this axis. So this hose line will move relative to your steering wheel. So once again, the hose lines are connected to that hose or that fitting. So you need to route your hose lines within your stock brake lines. The slack given by the factory is enough for you to wiggle it around with good enough, good enough slack that it won't be crimped on places that you want, don't want to or be eaten by your tires. So that's why we route it like this. So if we're not gonna do your car, you can learn from something from this video. You can show your builder this video to reference it. But if we are going to do your car, nothing to worry about anymore because this is our catalog video so we know what to do. Something you need to note, follow ko lang before we get too long on the front suspension is that the Mazda has tight clearances on the wall inside the wheel well. So for a small car that is expected to have smaller clearances, okay? On the back side of this bag is actually quite tight na. I couldn't pass this finger. And we are using a slim bag for this one. That'll be it. It's a slim bag. It's still quite close to the wall. So yun lang naman ang gusto ko sabihin. So other than that, this is the Mazda 2 Skyactiv front suspension, cost compatible with the Ford Fiesta. All right, let's move on to the back side where we discuss the divorce suspension layout for the Mazda 2. Hello and welcome to the rear suspensions of the Mazda 2 Sky Active. And immediately right in front of us we can see that the suspension type is a divorce suspension layout. As evidently you can see the shock absorbers on the right separate from its coil spring or air spring in our case here. Okay, so we are indeed using K-Sport coilovers. And the only thing we need, to talk, we need to talk about for the rear suspension of the car is that the clearances for the Mazda 2 is actually quite tight. Okay, 
tight suspension, tight subframe, okay? Tight clearances, meaning that the airbag has to be specific for this car. We're using what we call the super slim airbags that we have. Slimmer than the standard slim we have. Best used for application like this where the, the subframe and the brake lines and the whole suspension itself has tight clearances, okay? If we are going to use a standard bag for this, we might have to offset the bag. And then offsetting the bag means we have to hammer the subframe with the torch and uh, you know heat it up and we don't want to subject your suspension or stock parts with to through that modification you want something more of a plug-and-play layout so the best solution is to use a specific airbag like we have here okay other shops would probably use a bigger bag to accommodate every other car but for us we have specific bags for your car specific application so that's very important so if you want to go back to stock your stock spring catches aren't cut destroyed or you know dismantled so going back to stock is basically just plug and play so that's the goal of that other than that checking my clearances the super slim are actually good for this car now and then yeah that's about it there's nothing much to say um coilovers case port divorce suspension yes using super slims and let's just have a zoom in of that airbag and inside if we can have a focus so that's a closer look okay if we're not going to be doing your car please show it in this video if we are going to do your car rest assured your car will have the same what you see is what you get and that's it this should last it for a very long time and the car can be driven daily and driven hard without us worrying about the bags falling off okay being punctured by anything else and I'm visually checking the clearance as we need to release the car today. Okay, so we move on to the backside, the man, on the hatchback of the car where we'll actually have the system of the unit of the Mazda 2. Okay, let's move on to that. Alright, hello and welcome to the trunk layout or the hatch layout of the Mazda 2 Sky Active. Okay, cross compatible with the Ford Fiesta. Almost the same layout actually. And right out of the bat, straight to the point, we have our fitment generation 4th gen and single compressor setup. Okay. On the left-hand side is the module. It features a single socket design, a backlit case, a more presentable look. This one is the generation ready for rollout for international sales and local dealership distribution. Okay, so you might be wondering, why did he just use one compressor? Well, the car is really light. It's a subcompact or a compact hatchback. So one compressor will be enough to lift the car. The main tank compressor, the main tank pressure rather, will be set to 125 psi, so it will fill up fast. And that 125 PSI can go up to 175, but for the car, 125 is more than enough. It's rolling, it's rolling height only requires 30 PSI on each side. So it's really, really light car for this application. So we did have to sacrifice a spare tire. The spare tire can be just put on top, okay? We did fashion the client with a top board so he can put stuff on it. And of course, the spare tire if he needs to. For this uh, specific uh, build, we have to compromise. Because it's either we put the system on top, have the spare tire on the bottom, and then that compressor will blast all of those noise inside the cabin. At least on the bottom part, it will be dampened a bit, deafened a bit. So, yeah. And you don't want your air suspension being, you know, touched and because this is a pressurized system. You want your air suspension locked, okay, sealed up, and you won't be, you don't need to, you know, fiddle it around it. And you don't want other stuff being pushed into the system you know, having those hose lines ripped apart. And in short, we just want it to be secured. So having it on the bottom gives us the best position and best location for your system. Spare tire can be loaded up on top. Or if you're in the city, in a close proximity around, the, around town with tire services, you can just, you know, leave your spare tire at home. But if you do have to go to long distances, you just have to put it on top. That's about it, okay? Let's not overcomplicate things. That is the layout for your Mazda 2. And let's go drop the car and let's have our final thoughts for the car, okay? Let's go. All right, welcome to the outro of the video. Hope you learned something about the discussion sa harap, sa likod. Okay, and the trunk layout or the hatch layout of the car. So, we start the natin yung koche. We started the car up so we can actually demonstrate you the dynamics of the car. The car is back on the floor. We're just gonna show you the dynamics, which is how high it can air up how low it can air out and then we're going to discuss about the wheels of the car the fitment of the car rather so once again quick recap lang McPherson type strut sa harap uh, torsion beam divorce layout sa likod 
and then we have a hatchback so we opted to transfer or to put the system on the trunk or on the spare tire para tahimik kahit papano a bit quiet than exposing it upwards the maximum air up for this car is around three fingers or 45 millimeters for you guys who wants an actual measurement that is 45 millimeters from the gap of the tires to the fenders okay one finger is 15 millimeters sa likod on the rear side same thing Okay, 45 millimeters left, front and back. All right, welcome to the front side of the car. Let's discuss the fitment of the car real quick. We are on coilovers, meaning we can actually adjust this further. But right now, we have a 15 millimeter, around 12 to 15 millimeter gap from the fender of that wheel to the rim of the tire. Usually, people really love the fender to lip look, but for the client, uh, if he drops another finger, his lift capability will be compromised. Nah? And he wants the air suspension to traverse multiple obstacles. So as for now, to start, this is our good, this is our best fitment for now. At the same time, we need to reduce the tires from 205 to 195. Okay, this is a 17-inch wheel. The reason why we need to reduce the tires, kasi nga, if we go lower, we're gonna hit the fenders na and he has to roll the fenders. One quick fix for that is just downsizing your width of your tire. So, ilang naman for the front side. We can go lower pa, but not for now. Okay, let's go to the back side. All right, welcome to the rear side naman. Let's talk about the fitment of the car in the back. Same lang tayo sa front. We have a one finger clearance pa from the lip of the, from the, lip of the wheel to the fender itself. Bago siya mag fender to lip, one finger pa. So the reason why for this is because we actually want that three finger lift as well. So we can actually get the lift capability ng front and rear together and matched. If we do need to go lower, the coilover are there. We can still adjust the coilovers lower than this. But for now, this is our best setting for the client. So, if, and also another thing, he still has to downsize some tires before we go any go before we go any lower. After that, we can, you know, tie it up, better fitment. But for now, let it let him ease into it. Not everyone is ready for that slammed life immediately. Usually. They take a, take a while for them to get used to it. So for now, this is our best fitment for now. And then yeah, let's go back to the outer of the car. All right, final thoughts about the Mazda 2. So first thing I want to say about this car, it's really light. Even though we have a coilover installed on this car, converted to air spring, our damping rate is at what? 10 out of 36 up front, 6 or 4 out of 36 on the back. And that's on the soft side. The car is really light. We need to lower the damping really low on the low side just for it to press on the shock absorbers. So that's the challenge for a very light car. Eh? If a car is too light and the suspension is a bit too strong, it won't be able to press on those dampers. So it's, that's why the damping setting on this car is on the low side. So that actually tells you how light the car is on the damping setting. But nonetheless, we're done with the car. Uh, just a bit too tight on the wheels, on the tires rather. Downsizing the tires would be the best. So, is the Mazda 2 a good stance car or a good car for air suspension? Yeah, it actually drives like an 8.6, a BRZ. Yun yung review namin kanina when we're test driving the car. Okay? The reason why the client actually had to buy the case port kasi nga, the front shocks were dead. And he has to buy a new set of coilover, oh sorry, a shock absorbers. So, just pull the gun on it because you're gonna do maintenance din naman in the future. Okay? You're gonna replace those shocks again and again, so might as well get something more robust, more, you know, in the line of performance. Na rin. So, win win scenario we have a case port coilovers converted to air suspension and we're done with it. Travel is a bit on the low side then because it's on a coilover. Pero, the benefits outwin the compromises. So, that is the dynamics of the car. So, yeah. Build will be on seven days period. What else? If you have the same car, Ford Fiesta compatible din to. So if you have a Ford Fiesta, congratulations, you actually learned how to do your air suspension then for your Ford Fiesta. And as I've said on the video, if you're not gonna do your car, please show this video to your builder because there's tight clearances on the front, okay, and tight clearances on the back. The smaller the car, the more difficult the air suspension is. Because we're going to have to maneuver out of those clearances na pinakita ko sa inyo. But other than that, if we're gonna do your car, congratulations. And we have the catalog video for you. 
And of course, for anything else, give us a call and ask us for any other technical questions that you may need. But for now, that's all the time we have. It's been Cal from Fitment Engineering and you're watching Fitment TV. So you want to bag your mask to Sky Active. This is how. And that's going to be it. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for a notification. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Thank you.